सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द सेवंथ वीडियो इन थर्टी डेज ऑफ रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ पासवर्ड जनरेटर विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ अपर केस लोअर केस नंबर एंड स्पेशल करेक्टर सो दीज इनपुट बॉक्सेज आर द चेक बॉक्सेज बेसिकली सो वेन एवर द यूजर चेक्स दी इनपुट सो इट विल जनरेट दी पासवर्ड विद द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ डैट इनपुट चेक सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू जनरेट दी पासवर्ड विदाउट एनी अपर केस करेक्टर सो यू कैन सी when i click on the generate password so it will get generated so same don't want to include numbers so you can see if i generate password then the password will get generated without the numbers and the upper case so same you can play with this so as you can see in the code we have the basic html here where we have the input boxes and check boxes so we have to implement our logic so if you are new to my channel make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss the awesome videos so let's get started so first of all we have to manage the state so for that we will create the use state for different different input fields first we have the password and the final state will be the set password initially it will be a blank string then we will make another use state which is password length it will check the password length and initially it will consist of 12 so now now we will check upper case character and same we will set the set include upper case character these are basically the check boxes so currently it is true control v include lower case numbers special characters so now we will make the input field to control components basically so we will control the state using react javascript we will write on change we will set the final state using set password e dot target e dot target dot value and for the input check boxes so first check box we have the include upper case so we will write checked include upper case and on change we will set include upper case to not equals to include upper case so what it will does whenever the user try to click on the include upper case it will check and uncheck so that is something same for the other fields also we have so we will change for the lower case include numbers and for symbols special characters we will make on click function whenever user will click on the generate password so it will call a function which is generate handle generate we will define our function here const handle generate is equals to arrow function javascript const 
अपर केस कैर इज इक्वल्स टू ऑल द अल्फाबेटिकल ऑर्डर सेम फॉर द लोअर केस सेम फॉर द नंबर्स एंड सेम फॉर द स्पेशल कैरेक्टर्स सो नाउ वी विल मेक अ एम टी वेरिएबल विद एम टी स्ट्रिंग वैलिड कैर्स एंड इट विल चेक इफ इट इंक्लूड्स अपर केस कैरेक्टर्स सो वॉट विल बी डज इट विल मॉडिफाई दी वैलिड केयर्स टू प्लस इक्वल्स टू अपर केस कैरेक्टर्स सेम वी विल डू दिस फॉर एन अदर फील्ड्स ऑल्सो वी हैव लाइक इंक्लूड लोअर केस now after this we will generate our password so let generated password is equals to blank string now we will loop through the password basically the password length let i is equals to 0 i is less than password length and i plus plus now const random index is equals to math dot floor math dot random into valid characters dot length now we will update the generate password valid characters random index and finally we will set our final state to set password to generated password so now uh, we have to put value here which is the password and it is a read only so now you will see okay i think one thing i forgot which is importing use state from react so now it will work you can see so let's suppose if i want 11 character of password and when i generate the password with all the check boxes checked So you can see it will generate the password of twelve digit. Same if I want of ten length of password, and if I want only numbers and special character, you can see the numbers and only special character will get generated with the generate password. So you can use this. This is a kind of mini project you can say in React JavaScript. So you can also modify this part of code, uh, and you can add some more CSS, make the UI attractive. So it is up to you. You can modify this part of code, and and I will update this part of code on the GitHub channel. so you can access the code from there so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe i will meet in the next video till then thank you for watching